Hi friends, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilt. Welcome to Quilting Window Life. It's Friday and I am so excited because you're here and I'm here and I have a little joy for you. Yes, our joy collection is just incredible and I'm making another show with joy collection because guess what? I know we talked about it last week, but this week we have the kits. We got so many beautiful kits, so I wanna show you those. And I need your help, guys. Can you help me a little bit? I'm gonna show you some beautiful patterns and you're gonna help me choose something. So stay tuned, we're gonna be playing and visiting. And I also wanna show you how to fussy cut blocks. We have a fun new rulers that I want you to be introduced to it. Are you ready for fun show? I am. I had such a good week. I went to visit uh, my um, daughter Dolphina and I went with my daughter Anna to see the Christian Dior show in New York. It was incredible. I wanted uh, to pinch myself because it's like Cinderella's dream. I cannot believe this, that I've been to the show. I got to see all the models that were walking, showing the beautiful clothes and it was incredible i wish you could have come with me i'm gonna be posting some more pictures from the show and also from uh, how beautiful my daughter anna looked i'm so so proud of her but as i was in new york i thought there's no way i have to visit my daughter dolphina i saw my son-in-law george but i also quickly drove into philadelphia area where i got to see my mother-in-law carol it was so nice my mother-in-law just finished seven quilts yeah seven of them and she hold all of them to i come and visit uh, with her because she wanted to show me them i'm gonna be posting some cute pictures she was so proud of her quilts they look so amazing and guess what at her age she is still quilting still having fun but loving loving the pre-cut kits I cannot tell you how many compliments she gave me that it's so easy, so fun, so quick, and she can make beautiful quilts for wheelchairs for her friends at the nursing home. So she's so proud of it and so excited about it. So I got to see some beautiful quilts, but today I want to show you some beautiful things. There are such a nice selection of uh, Christmas patterns that we have and we're talking about joy collection what it's our holiday collection for this fall but we are getting started early this year with prepping all our projects so that way we can be focusing on visiting cooking and not last minute song if you have to do last minute it's okay but if you can get it done ahead what a fun so we have so many beautiful patterns and kids let me start on it right there one of my personal favorite and so quick to do it it's our virginia star virginia star comes in two sizes uh, we actually have three sizes but in a kids for joy we only have two right now when jelly rolls come in we may be gonna do a bigger version with the jelly roll but for now we have the two sizes the medium size is 56 by 56 the small is 28 by 28 that's our mini and the kids are so cute look at how beautiful this kid is i'm gonna open it up you have all your fabrics beautifully cut just waiting for you to pull it out press it start cutting your strips and you will follow the pattern that we have on our website for the joy mini to make the mini one it's such a nice nice pattern we also have the pattern for the larger one so go to our website don't get confused there are two sizes the small and the large so many of you love small project and of course the price is different so if you cannot buy a big kid or you have a lot of big quilts you wanted to go ahead and do something smaller joy virginia star is perfect for you now other patterns that we have is joy around the world and this is also a kit that we have available it is so beautiful so go to our website this one come with pre-cut strips for the trip around the world then you're gonna cut your own border from the panel fabric and we've done a live show 
on the panel fabric so you know exactly how to do it so this should, should be so much fun i cannot wait to get this kit myself we have them we pre-selling them they're gonna start shipping in eight days so please be patient it's listed on our website i'm super super excited about this one and yes i could go ahead and cut my own strips but oh it is so much fun to get those laser cut strips because they don't fray as much they're easy to work with they're nice and straight and you're only dealing with a four and a half uh, ten and a half inch long strip so it's really fun and easy to make the panel i have a great technique in the trip around uh, uh, the uh, joy around the world pattern inside the pattern i have a great technique to make a trip around the quilt once you make one you're going to be making those quilts for everybody because it is so so easy so go ahead and grab the pattern get a kit we're going to ship it to you as soon as you come in if you cannot wait and you must have something tomorrow <clears throat> Uh, or right now you can go ahead and grab the Christmas Creek quilt um, kit and a pattern this one I showed you guys it's right next to me I'm gonna be quilting this one I hope I'm back home I hope to have this and this one done both of them need a little bit quilting because I'm planning to go to a show in Chicago and planning to take them with me so I better hurry up and get them done but this kid the Christmas Creek uh, uh, kid is so so delightful look at this isn't it beautiful what a lovely gift for someone super simple cut your panel enjoy your kid if you want more of the fabric we do have the yardage online and i put on the kit something to remind me this is a stitch guide so when you sewing a long strips and you just buzzing around and you just want to sew and maybe you watching your favorite youtube channel like a quilting window <clears throat> Uh, you would love to have the stitch guide on your sewing machine. You peel the back of the guides, you stick it right next to your uh, foot, and that way as you're running your fabric, you can push it against this, and it just really works nice. So especially for long uh, sewing, for long strips, this would work very nice. We have them available on our website. I also uh, grab one of those for the table today stash and store those are from our friends at fat quarter shop they're so nice to storage your little tools so when you getting your kids want to get a little bit organized you want to maybe get one of those little stash and stores but now drum roll this is the kid that you guys are so excited about it the first round of them already sold out we just restocked we are having our joyous star kit and this one is so much fun you can use triangle paper to make all of the triangles for the outside or you can just do traditional triangles and then inside all the blocks there's a, a fussy cut baskets and stars there are 13 blocks there are eight stars and five baskets that i fussy cut it out of the panel to put it inside my blocks and now i wanted to show you guys something the kit is so beautiful look at this it's nice and heavy gorgeous this is your setting triangle fabric it's so lovely it is gonna be just beautiful easy to work with but when you cutting your panel you may be stressed a little bit and i wanted to point it to you something that maybe you wanted to get and use it so this is the fabric that you're gonna get in a kit and i want to open this fabric with you guys just so we double check that we can get eight beautiful stars and five baskets out of this panel okay and our baskets have to be our blocks have to be cut this way because we want them to stand really nice inside our stars we don't want to have them sideways so when you're cutting you're gonna be 
uh, a project the blocks that are next to you and have a little bit of a waste there but do not worry we have plenty of stars and baskets on a panel so what i like to do when i have to fussy cut and i have to cut out my stars okay so check this out if i'm cutting this star i'm gonna go into this block and this block so i have to skip this one and the next one i'm gonna be cutting here i'm also getting into the basket so i have to plan this out and alternate do you see what i'm doing and alternate so that way i can get enough pieces so let me count one two three stars four five six seven and eight i even gonna have a little bit leftover stars let me do now the basket so if i cut my star here i'm gonna go for a basket right here so i'm gonna cut one two three four and a five and i have plenty leftovers so in one yard of fabrics you have more than enough fabric to fussy cut and i wanted to show you something incredible we have it on our website it's our fussy cut squares fussy cut squares those are little templates look at this and it's a set of them there are six in the set so if i want to cut little two in two inch by two inch uh, square it needs to be two and a half by two and a half I can use this and I can go around my fabric it's not gonna be useful for this panel but if I'm fussy cutting flowers or little bird or something I can go ahead with that and do it for our basket I need the biggest one the one that it's four and a half inch finish five by five unfinished because that's the measurements from our pattern and what i'm gonna do is take my little ruler i'm gonna place it right over my block this is what i want and i could even cut it or draw it around and plan things out first before i cut it so that way you know for sure you have everything you need and i'm looking for something this is a really nice chalk it's in yellow so it's very soft very nice and you can draw it just to plan it out if you want to but for anybody that don't have them the low set you have to get those this set is so cute and it has all these different sizes that you can enjoy it four and a half finish this one is um i have to look at it oh hold on hold on where is the writing so i have um oh right here a little frame four and a half this one is uh three and a half then we have all this other wonderful wonderful size of course i put it upside down that's why i cannot read it look at this this is a live show i was set up to do this all right now i'm back in so we have a, a two inch a finish then we have a, i turn this around again so we have a two inch finish three inch finish all this wonderful wonderful sizes oh it's uh this one is they got toss and turn three and a half inch finish so we have all this variety of sizes go to our website they're all listed there there and you buy the whole set so as a set this works really really nice i absolutely love it so if you wanted to and especially for the joyous star you can use the five inch one that's a five inch cut four and a half inch finish and you always have to look at what is the finish size and then you want a quarter inch all the way around bigger great idea for any of the eye spy quilts just fussy cut it and enjoy enjoy so that is for the joyous star star panel we have plenty of fabric that we can go ahead and enjoy those fussy cut beautiful baskets and star all right another incredible kit that we have it in star uh, stock is our supernova look at this beautiful beautiful kit isn't it delightful supernova is such a 
big kid all these fabrics are in it look at that beautifully lined up for you the pattern is so nice and again if you using this pattern there are templates in it it would be nice to get those templates and uh, um, maybe use a ruler right over when you cutting so you don't trim the edges of the paper template I always think of that so that is a wonderful one of a kind kid really really nice I love that one 71 and a half by 71 and a half a good big size and what a lovely kit to gift somebody with it so those are just few of the kits that we have exclusive with joy collection but if you like me and you grab the half a yard bundle or maybe you want to do the fat quarter bundle or fat, uh, those our new eight of a yard th those are not fat quarter those are regular quarter cuts nine inch by the width of fabric i'm so sorry i misspoke and this is our long one eight cut four and a half by width of fabric if you have grabbed some of those bundles and now you are wondering what am i gonna be making with i have some fun ideas for you guys and i wanted to do this with you today i'm gonna show you a beautiful variety of our holiday patterns and i need you guys to please tell me which of those patterns is your favorite and i'm gonna recolor them and start posting them so that way you can see the fabrics that we have in your favorite pattern or maybe two years ago you purchased our christmas trio and now you are so excited about a joy uh, uh fabrics and you wanted to have a uh, this pattern recolor so uh, some of the patterns are done in Noel. Some of them are done in our all the collections. So I think um, giving them a fre little fresh look with our beautiful joy could bring some joy to your life. So Jolene Star, I love this pattern. It's based on 60 degree triangle. It's so simple, so fun. And um, um, what I love about it that it's all done in reds and it's just the green binding that gives that extra detail to it but oh can you imagine if I swap the light stars for some green stars wouldn't that be lovely so just let me know which one of those uh, patterns is your favorite and I'm gonna see what my creative uh, juices would do and how can I make that for you to be able to see those fabrics in those beautiful beautiful patterns holiday forest by four another favorite and this one uses jelly roll strips so two and a half inch strips you can cut it yourself or you can wait for the jelly rolls and fat a, a, a layer cakes fat aids fat quarters all of those other cuts pre-cuts that we're getting and um use those but can you imagine this beautiful holiday forest in our brand new joy collection or maybe you have just a few favorite is from our joy collection because not as for the blocks you need four different fabric one yard each so you can go to our website pick your favorite and you're gonna need the light fabric uh, one yard a second light fabric one yard and then you need a medium fabric and a dark fabric for the green side and you alternate that's what it gives you the movement and then you need your fifth fabric what is just the accent for the center and I use the beautiful beautiful red this gorgeous quilters cabin uh, pattern is based on an antique quilt that I have and it is just so lovely i had to release the pattern and i will have the mini coming out in it too so stay tuned look at this pine hearse the pattern comes in blue and light but notice how quickly you can transform any blue and light pattern into a holiday uh, forest so right here pine hearse this one definitely i want to show you how beautiful it looks recolor enjoy and in this one i think i'm gonna use a little bit more of the reds and pinks and use the green as my accent just flip it a little bit we talked about mistletoe last week how fun it would be to fussy cut the blocks and don't have to piece the low stars and then create this beautiful mistletoe quilt 
Amaryllis Noel was a hit when we had the Noel collection, but I'm for sure want to do this one in joy. It has an uh, even uh, kill of reds and greens, the bundles, and you need a fat quarter bundles because the quilt, a fat eight, fat eight bundle, the quilt is based on fat eights, but if you want it, uh, fat quarters, you can also use it. That way you have a little bit more fabrics and you can then tweak the color towards what you like. So I'm curious which one you guys going to pick. Now Christmas tree, I know it's not the holidays, but we're trying to get a head start and now planning the project, getting the fabrics. By the time everything arrives, you get your favorite notions. You're gonna be ready, set, go, and Christmas is gonna be around the corner in no time. You will see, time flies when you have fun quilting. Christmas tree, I think, would be so beautiful in our new Joyce collection. The Christmas tree, oh, I told you about that one. It's an older one, but I again think it's such a good pattern. And what it's nice in this pattern, you get a three different layouts. If you want it, you can combine all of the um, uh, pieces together, make enough for three, but put them together. And I posted a beautiful picture of that quilt few years ago so you can go back to our blogs about the holidays now tenenbaum can you imagine a tenenbaum in our gorgeous joy collection wouldn't that be so so much fun all those beautiful little reds and greens we have enough of those colors to do it and if you need a little bit more green we have our uh, collection called uh, green tom that is just so nice to add green to it now notice the frankenmuth i love this one the cute little houses and little uh, trees and if you want it you can just do one and we do have a bonus wall hanging in that pattern for just one block now uh, we've done our tahoe in a well when we did a quilt alone but can you imagine Tahoe in our joy fabrics with all the shades of pinks and just a little delicate touch of green. Well, we cannot forget our favorite Alaska holiday. You only need six fabrics for this one. So again, you can choose six of your favorite fabrics and then place them in the area that I have the red where it's the red, green where it's the green. You can use this pattern. But if you want me to recolor this one, I gladly will do it. So choose your favorite, okay? And the most common ones, those are the ones I'm gonna be doing for you guys and I want you to bring some joy to your home and with that this is the last pattern that I choose for today the winter village that one is all in blue and lights but can you imagine all these houses in beautiful reds and pinks with gorgeous accents of green and maybe add a little pine tree from this quilt here or there just to even things up and give a little bit more green to it gorgeous binding that would be a holiday village uh, for sure so if you wanted to you can enjoy some of those patterns if you don't want to wait for me recolor the quilt and your eye is set in on something that we have like noel star we do have a beautiful regular kit as well as the pre-cut kit but i chose this kit not only because we have them available right now and the pre-cuts are so easy to use but i looked at that this design and i thought to myself oh, how gorgeous it would look if I would use our beautiful panel fabric, where did I, oh, I put it right here. Can you imagine if I would use our panel fabric and put gorgeous stars or baskets all the way around the quilt? So you can, or maybe you already have this kit and you wanna make it bigger. That panel would work so nice for you. So adding the fabrics because they match so nice. Noel and Joy match so nice together. They have a similar color hues. It's gonna be so easy. So adding a new, little bit new border into the quilt, finishing things up and be ready for the holidays. That is my goal for you guys. And that's what I'm trying to make you do it. Now, 
I have a special surprise for you guys. I didn't tell you this. I should have right at the beginning. Did you notice this brown box? I have a special surprise today. We're going to unpack something super cool. So stay tuned. Be patient. We're going to go through just one more kit. And it is this Montana Noel. I love this one. I made this one myself. I love it. It's so beautiful. Um, I wish I would have had fabrics like their fabrics from Joy to make this quilt bigger and add even more to it. So if you got this kit or you're getting this kit, go and look at our uh, Joy fabrics because you maybe want an extra big beautiful border to add it to the outside. Oh, maybe this one is stealing your heart. This would be so, so nice. So there's so many beautiful options. Oh, you maybe want something simple and delightful. Look at this. Look at this. Like when you look at the colors, everything would look so nice with those stripes. And you can get a, a little candy cane border all the way around your quilt. So those are just a few of the kits that we have it and few of the beautiful items. We are today, it's only Michael and me. Unfortunately, Erin um, is not here today. She had a family emergency today. We miss her so, so much. She always brings so much joy to our live shows, but we're gonna try to make her proud and still do it. Michael is gonna be looking if there is any questions, guys, and I'm not asking any questions today. Um, I do wanna tell you we will have a contest if you're leaving comments, leave comments. We're going to be choosing from our viewers that are leaving comments which pattern from our holiday patterns is the favorite. Oh, you maybe know of another pattern that it's in blue and light and you would like to see it in our Joy Collection. So uh, leave me a comment. How do you see our Joy Collection? Which pattern do you think you would like to use it for Joy? And maybe next week i surprise you and recolor that quilt i put some little goodies um i wish i had this with me when i was traveling because my nails were not the best and i could have used a little you know um nail polish uh, nail polish and a little um, nail file those are our new nail files that we have available on our website and they have those really cute little designs uh, for sewing and quilting if you want to go ahead and visit our website that's one of our new things we also have some new books and i have a second surprise that i want to share with you guys but we have some really good books the uh, Sunny Stitches is embroidered book that I think you would really, really like. I got it for our website because I'm getting more into embroidery. Look at how cute and simple the designs are. So sweet. Oh, I love this little cupcakes, little sunshine. And I don't know if you've seen, I posted a video on our Instagram showing you how I made a tablecloth. So I'm starting a new tradition that when my guests come into my house, I'm putting out this tablecloth and uh, I have a blue pencil and I have my friends draw something simple, write something, uh, anything they wanted to, as we're having a beautiful meal and visiting and enjoying each other. Even if it's something super simple, and then when my friends leave, I take an embroidery on those drawings. And then next time when they come in, they're surprised that the little doodle of a heart or little flower, now it's forever and ever kept in stitches. And I'm gonna be using my tablecloth over and over. I know you probably wear it to spill a little wine or a little tea or something onto your tablecloth. If I have a little spill, I draw a circle around, make a flower around it and camouflage that it's a part of my little friendship, uh, um, friendship tablecloth. You can take that idea. You can go ahead, pick a tablecloth and start embroidering. And we have beautiful orofil threads that I like to use uh, for embroidery, embroidery with our collection uh, from uh, uh, English garden the lavender in that it's so soft so beautiful so you can do that too and look at I could take designs like this and have my friends trace it if they're afraid of drawing put it on the white tablecloth trace it 
and enjoy it then later on you can go ahead and embroider i really like this one this is gonna be fun to uh, incorporate some of those designs look at a simple flower a cupcake a sunshine i mean anybody can draw a circle and a few little sticks and you have a sunshine and your friends are leaving a little sunshine behind not only a coffee stain but a cute little sunshine just for you and you can embroider that and it's gonna become a fun little memories but back into the book look at all those lovely designs such a good variety from little lemons to chickens to fruit to little things uh, fresh as a daisy how sweet this would be so cute hanging in the bathroom you can embroider leave a little wooden hoop on it and enjoy it for uh, all your guests when they come over and um, just see such a fun little message i like those kind of things oh i just got lost in this book delightful book sunny stitches available on our website if you want to do a little stitching with me now i grabbed this book from a shelf downstairs because we also just got this one a friend of mine she did a two beautiful quilts to match and two books and uh it was just so nice this is a little ghost um the little ghost who was a quilt so the story is so sweet it's about a little ghost and ghost normally a sheet and this one was a quilt and i am not gonna spoil the rest of the story but you have to read it and get it and you can make a matching quilt and that quilt can become a really fun thing for your uh, little ones of uh, during halloween so think about it also we have this beautiful book on our website another thing that came into our studio is this delightful bag i always look for them and i chose this one because it is so much fun it's nice and big look at this oh you can fit all your books all your quilting when you go to guild with your quilt you can put it beautifully in the bag those are so much fun and also for grocery shopping and i love it because it has big handles and you can put it on your arm or has a short handles not a it so if you're carrying a grocery or something and you need a little shorter one this is really fun it is so nice because it is printed it's easy to use and you can pop it in your car so that way you do your part and always have a bag in your car and then this one also says i love quilting on the outside i think with all those beautiful blocks so that's something new and exciting that we have in the studio but now drum roll because i have two wonderful things that i want to share with you michael do we have any questions i haven't even looked so all right Michael's going to find a question for us, but uh, in the meantime, I'm going to show you something new and exciting. So many of you have been asking me about storaging fabric. And when you get your fabric, it's off the bolt and you would like to maybe put it on the bolt so you can storage in your sewing room, lay it down or stand it up. Or maybe you want to use the cardboard to, uh, you know, enjoy it. Um, in many different ways guess what we have bolts for sale yes the white bolt cardboard that it's inside our fabric do you see so this is so many of you have asked about this and we finally figured it out way how we can provide you those so look at inside here you have this white bolt and when you purchase your fabric it's off the bolt and some of you want the bolt so this is not for everyone but for everybody that has asked me about it we got them they're in a boxes of 12 so you can get a 12 or 6 of them you can go ahead to our website get them and put your fabric on the bolt and then storage them many of my friends like to cut the bolts in half and make it into a mini low bolt so if you wanted to you can do that too you can cut it in half what i do is when i cut it in half i tape this side because i don't like that rough 
cut i love that finish cut so once you cut it tape it and you can then roll your fabric and it will stay so nice so you can go ahead and get those on our website we have a boxes full of them if you would like them enjoy it enjoy it enjoy it but surprise number two guys i just got this remember i told you we have a beautiful quilt vault i have some lovely antique quilts some that i purchased some that my friends and our customers have so generously sent it to me they were like oh, my grandma had this i don't want it would you like to have it i love it another friend this is so broken no one can use it would you like to have it i'm creating a beautiful quilt vault so that way if you wanted to you can enjoy it with me we're gonna have many fun shows from the vault uh -huh. and i just got something one of my friends one of our retreaters have sent me the most beautiful by the way gorgeous card and gorgeous knot telling me how much she enjoy visiting with me and when she saw this she thought of me and our quilt vault to treasure and save it look at this those are old antique look at this guys old antique magazines i'm almost afraid to start touching and pulling on them look at this they are so beautiful such a good condition isn't that lovely so that way when you come visit maybe we can pull some of those out and browse through it together grandmother's patchwork quilt designs look at this look at this one grandmother's authentic early american patchwork quilts isn't that lovely i cannot wait to browse through them and see how gorgeous things were made in the past and get inspired this is what quilting is all about we inspiring the next generations and we are inspired by the generation before us that is so nice and with that i think of my mother-in-law how much she enjoys her quilting and inspired me that even if her stitches were not perfect even if the quilts were not huge anymore she still enjoy make beautiful things and enjoy giving them and sharing it with others so i hope you love what i just showed you i will be pulling some surprises from those and thank you thank you thank you for always thinking of me if you do have an old antique quilt or antique magazine that you want to share with us we love to have it but also we are so thankful that you come on friday and just want to get inspired and wanted to see what i have new and exciting but i do appreciate that my friend thought to inspire me by sending some beautiful old magazines do we have a question for today michael um i i haven't been able to look through much i apologize because i'm by myself here but um the one question is the quote behind you oh um, guys i'm so glad you noticed the quilt behind me this is one of my uh, antique quilts and because of the antique magazines i thought i bring this one out and also it's one of my favorite patterns it's the feather star we do have this pattern coming out sometimes i take my antique quilts and reproduce them in the patterns because i know you guys would really really wanted to have it too and look at this one it is so delightful the hand quilting on it is so precious there's just straight line and a little scallop edge straight line and a scallop edge this way it looks so so nice <clears throat> and i thought to myself this quilt could be a wonderful one to use it with our gorgeous joy collection look at the beautiful greens and uh, that we have it in this uh, bundle but especially you need those beautiful pinks and reds that could work very very nice so the pattern will be coming out we are in a process of it and if you wanted to stay tuned we will have it on our website at laundry basket quilts on my left i have uh uh, our Virginia star in our joy collection and on my right of course 
the newest one. I love this quilt. It came together so fast. Uh, the Christmas Creek and then Pinehurst in our all the collections and I am so happy that you are here today and can enjoy those beautiful quilts with me. In my baskets I have uh, mistletoe, our free pattern that it's on the website calls Kelly and Amaryllis on the left and our feather star pillow. Notice this feather star has a diamond on a point and this one just have the triangle, that green background really framed nice this pattern is going to be so easy to do with there's no diamonds no uh, any difficult pieces and it's very similar to our joyous star so if you wanted to go ahead start with joyous star and then we're gonna do this one together and also so from you guys i need you to work with me on this one please let me know which pattern you would like recolor but also is there a holiday quilt that we wanted to vote on it to maybe do a little quilt along together you you want to do the feather star together we can do that i have no problem doing this one that is one of my personal favorites and guess what <clears throat> for anyone that doesn't want to do an eight point star for the center we could go ahead and fussy cut a little ohio star and put it in the center i'm pretty sure let me see my little templates i had it did i put them away no where did i place them michael do we have any questions oh they're right here oh. i just want to check guys guess what this is a perfect perfect size because this is the size of our uh, um uh, blocks so if we wanted to we could use one of our uh, beautiful beautiful stars from this fabric to put it in the center and have the feather star but i just i love the pink and yellow and i think that is what is so charming about this quilt and we do have this yellow on our website with our seamstress collection there are two yellows and we have both of them how i know because i have at least five yards of each of them in my house it is such a good like a soft happy sparkly yellow and with a holiday quilt this yellow really pops and nicely and notice the orange in it too so i think that is what it adds this fun vintage the quilt is vintage but that's what would add the fun vintage flavor to our quilt if we would include a little bit of yellow with the pink for the uh, centers for the stars uh, any other questions Michael I, I'm still digging I did see that uh, Margaret asked um, more, Hi, of Margaret. A, more of a request than a question but she wanted to know if there's some time you could go through how you um, sort and save your scraps uh, versus oh, um, I love that it's been a while since we've done that so it's just just I love that question and you know what just because we moved I have been going through all my scraps and sorting through it and doing different stuff with it so guess what next Wednesday live show join me in for stash organizing so join me in I think you're going to be blown away and starting with you know getting a bolts like this organizing some of the fabrics but the smaller pieces what I do with them and how I sort through it I cannot wait to share that with you guys but the best way to storage your scraps is in a beautiful quilt okay so you yes. have a lot of questions on yours uh, a lot of people picking which quilt to like see recolor so you'll have to run through all that i love uh, that keep say mm -hmm. uh, keep uh, writing down guys and we're gonna go after the show i'm gonna give you a day or two maybe monday i'll go through all of them and then i start recoloring those quilts for you guys so that way you see how they look in our new joy collection and if you ever know a design that you love from laundry basket quilts please just email us and uh let us know and we will make sure as soon as i have a minute i will recolor it uh, recolor those ones also if there is any of my older quilts and you're like oh i wish i want to see in a new collection upcoming collection again right now i'm working on a really beautiful beautiful group of fabrics similar to our practical magic the collection's name is dahlia 
it is stunning stunning i'm telling you guys it's so beautiful beautiful blacks gorgeous oranges uh burn red in it touch of pink and uh, just the most incredible burn yellow so uh you're gonna love 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 that oh and don't forget the dusty teal that i included in that one but uh, I'm working on some new projects. So if you have fun ideas, let's do it. Okay, so two more quick questions. I love uh, that. One is the 108 fabrics. Yes. I don't know when they're gonna be available. So we are waiting right now. They're supposed to be available this month. So we should have them uh, any days now, any yeah. days. We're waiting for the fabrics already. I got my yardage so I know that gives me a good cue that the fabric is on the way. Uh, I will post on Instagram and uh, uh, if you go to our website, I'm gonna find out from Endover exactly when the shipping and we will post it with the fabrics because we already have the 108 listed on our website, but I'm gonna put the uh, delivery day so that way you can start getting those fabrics. They are great for borders, by the way. And finally, a couple questions on this yeah. quilt, which I can say I've seen some of the ideas, so I Michael, this, this, I can't this. believe he just told you this, guys. Up a mystery quilt is going to be so much fun, so simple, so incredible. You guys are going to love it. You're gonna want to escape to a different kind of place when you're making that quilt. So. Yes, I'm working on it. We, next Friday, we're gonna announce more details about our mystery quilt, but it's almost there, almost there. I'm gonna announce what fabric, what I'm doing, but that is gonna work really good with our Wednesday show, talking about all the scraps because our mystery quilt is actually based on scraps. So do not overthink, don't stress about the fabrics because I'm gonna show you something fun and exciting and uh, we're gonna be traveling and escaping together. I love that. Thank you so much for an amazing show today. I can't wait to see you on Wednesday. I'm gonna do double prices on Wednesday. So join us on Wednesday because without Erin, it was very difficult to do the show. Um, we miss her so, so much. So next Wednesday, I will be asking questions, double prices, and we're gonna sort through our scraps and organize our stash together. I look forward to it already. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and happy quilting. Thank you for coming to the show.